Friday, we are Cal and Mel building Marin, our floating dream home. Hope you enjoy our look at life of building a catamaran. Uh, as you would have seen in one of our other videos, uh, we've been doing some testing on our 48 volt uh, DC generator. We had some problems with the actuator on it. Um, the actuator that we originally had on here wouldn't uh, pull enough, uh, didn't have enough power to actually pull the, the throttle back up. Um, this one we actually got in contact with some guys out of uh, out of Korea and we were able to secure this little unit uh, which pulls about 70 newtons on it so it's got enough power now to actually um, throttle the motor up to full speed and it actually communicates with our with our Dactron controller via a uh, Arduino board which we've got temporary mounted down here and a little power supply that's temporary mounted there um, so that now is fixed up, we've run the tests on it and uh, we've run all the tests on the unit and we're very, very happy with the way it's all worked so we'll be now getting this ready to, to put back into the boat. up a test rig so that we can test our generator and our uh, Victron inverter. I was just using a few old batteries that we had, go away dog. So we're just testing at the moment to see what sort of voltage we have. And We've got 52 volts out of these old batteries out of different machines. And what we're going to do is hook up the generator to this. We're going to drain them down by using the Victron charger or inverter. We're going to run a couple of heat guns and a heater and whatever we can off that to flatten the batteries. And then we're going to use the generator to recharge it again and see how that works. Testing before we put it into the boat. This is our test rig to test our um, multi plus and our charges and we fire it up and we get a green light on that. That means it's actually working and this is a heat gun, 240 volt heat gun or 230 whichever way you look at it and it's working quite nice. It's getting boiling hot inside. See? Now that means the system's working alright, but we'll have to put a lot more load on it to test it once we hook the generator up. That'll be next week. I'm just moving, I need to position the right 
Can I unplug that at the moment or? Yeah. I'm not sure it's turned off or not. So this is what, show, what I've left it showing. So it shows the A pot, the yep. B pot, the slider, where the slider position is, yep. the external voltage, and the position of the, the thing. So at any point in time, you can always plug in, and if you've got this Arduino program, you can diagnose it yep. or have a look at it. Unplug that from the yard, won't yeah. You can turn the whole thing off for a start. Yeah. to actually <coughs> plug this back in and see how much jitter it's coming from the motor even if it's going at a constant speed. Oh okay. Okay, yeah. so but let's get it going first.
So does it shut off itself once it's charged? Or? I don't know how to program that yet. About state of uh, SO, SOC, state of charge. Right. Um, I really don't understand, to be honest, how a how does the state of charge get um, to mine? How does it know? Volts. The only thing you can know is volts. That, that's it, isn't it? Yeah, and Just if you look at the charge of lithium iron batteries, they come up like this. But yeah. Did I send you those links? Yeah, yeah. If you have a look at those, you, you can see how cars do it. Yeah. All right. So I'm assuming that if it, once it gets up to enough volts on the batteries, it will actually say that's enough. Turn the, turn the jetty off and just let it run by itself. Well, yeah. Um, Will it then turn on automatically when it comes down? Or? Well, you can actually program all that, but to be honest, Steve, I haven't had enough of reading right. on that side of it. Because, to be honest, I don't want, ever want the generator running in auto mode. Never. You're going to manually start. I'm going to manually start. I'm going to go, shit, my battery's moved topping up. I'll get the alarm from, my Vic <coughs> from the Victron system to say, Hey guys, I'm low on batteries. Yep. So then I'll go, right, okay, bang. I'll start the generator or work out how come I'm not getting solar or whatever. Um, or I've got a motor for a long period of time. Yep. Because that's, you know, pull what, 80 amps? That's a 400 amp alternator. So it can pull a little bit more yet. Yeah. Well, no, we pulled up, then we got up to 99. 99 amps, okay. So when yeah. you had everything running, it, it showed a peak of 99. Yeah, okay. Yep. But it had 100 amps coming out of it. Yeah, well it can take, it can do 400. So it's at 3,000 RPM. That's 5 kilowatts. Yeah. And what's that? That's only 5 kilowatts. 5 kilowatts, yeah. So. Yeah, but the idea of the engine. <coughs> the engine won't be drawing through this. The engine will come off the batteries, right? No, the engine will be either charging the batteries or driving the propulsion bank, which yeah. is 2 by 16 kilowatt engines. Yeah, but I'm saying it won't be drawing from the inverter, it'll be drawing straight from the batteries. What, what the won't engines, you join? When you're running on engines. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. But if, when I need to, if I get to the point where I'm depleting my batteries, I kick my generator in. Yeah. The generator feeds the batteries and the batteries are still driving. Well, it's all on the same link. What can this do? How many what? 400 amps. 400 amps. Yeah. But to do that, it'll have to get faster. 3,200 RPM. Okay, mm. and we got up to what, 2,250. Yeah, yeah. No, it's still got plenty of room. Every, everything looks good. Mm. No, I think that tested really, really well, actually. Thanks for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed this insight to building a catamaran.